Hello everyone, I'm Gulu Teddy. Today, I would like to introduce our Industry Digital Plan 3.0 and this is regarding about our KPI, Key Performance Indicator. I believe most of you heard about KPI before and even in your company now, maybe you already um, start your KPI in your paper, Excel, or even you already purchase related software. So, in our this uh, industry digital plan 3.0, we not only show you about the KPI concept, but we also will guide you how to use this uh, KPI software. Here we go. Do you know, uh, until today, the Alibaba group I think the global company uh, people, more than 100,000, they have over 100,000 staff. Until today, they still apply KPI. Seriously, they still KPI. But they are concept a bit different with uh, the companies. So, uh, what we learned is, we will introduce this uh, value assessment plus KPI. Okay. So some of you may be confused, right? Hey, Teddy, what is the difference between this uh, KPI and value assessment? So for KPI, I give you a very, very simple example. Now, Teddy is a salesman, okay, salesperson. My boss, David, he set a target for me, sales target, okay? He wants me to uh, achieve a $10,000 by this month. So at the end, Teddy achieved 30,000. It means that I already achieved KPI, which uh, set by David. Clear. So normally KPI is can be measured, uh, like the numbers, how many, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Okay, fine. So this I think is quite common. You also can um, search more info from the from internet. So now, how about value assessment? Okay, value assessment. Actually, it cannot be measured directly. Uh, what doesn't mean cannot be measured directly? I give a very simple example, leadership. I believe everyone of us aware about what is leadership, but how you want to prove that you are really um, having this uh, leadership? You cannot say, oh, because uh, Teddy now lead the team and the team got 10 people. Okay, so means that Teddy got is uh, having the leadership now okay it cannot be measured easily and another uh, example is like responsibility not that Teddy already complete 10 tasks so that Teddy has a is a responsible uh, responsibility person no but don't worry because how we want to judge uh, this person or this guy uh, better achieve this value assessment actually we already have our own criteria so uh, we will provide you eight categories for this value assessment so now why Alibaba need to run two concept because normally we heard is uh, if you achieve a KPI you are a good staff because like this case let's say Teddy uh, is a salesperson Teddy really achieved the sales target which set by David every time. But the problem is when David asked Teddy go to attend the seminar, attend the training, Teddy said, no, no, don't waste my time. I better spend my time on myself. Why I need to attend those stupid seminar or training? You can see. So Teddy never followed the company direction. Never follow. So Teddy start to think for his own benefit only and never care about the company benefit. So this is not what we want in the company. So in Alibaba group, they call this kind of person which they having a great uh, capability, uh, great this we call a KPI, but low in value assessment. This type of people, they describe it as this uh, we call wild dog type. Wow dog, you know, wow dog. Yeah. So at the end, they will terminate, they will remove this wow dog type people from their company. They don't want. Even you tell me what well, every month you achieve the target. No. But 
your because your value is totally not uh, deep. Uh, how how to say? It's not tally. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's totally different with a company's needs. So now, how we want to uh, 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 set the workflow so that every person they can complete their KPI at the same time they can complete their value assessment. So here, I will explain a bit about the whole process workflow. The first thing is we have to set the KPI and also value uh, assessment for each employee, no matter you're from the low level, middle level or higher level. After that, you are required to do self-evaluation and also update your action plan. Maybe today you complete certain things and this may uh, help you to get, you, uh, get more score in your this uh, uh, KPI. Yeah, you have to feel it. So, but you know, sometimes the client always told me, Daddy, we cannot up this, uh, we cannot start this uh, self-evaluation because it's not fair. If you ask my team, ask my staff to fill in, definitely they will give them the full mark. Okay, full mark is five. Every person definitely will give five, 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 five. Even their performance is very bad, they also put five. Okay, so for this, I will explain you, I will guide you how to solve this problem. Very simple. Because according to the Alibaba concept, for those people, give them the score three and above, he or she must write down the reason. And this reason must be reasonable. You cannot say, okay, my leadership is five, four marks. Why is the reason? Don't know. Or, yeah, on that day, I lead a team 10 person. No. This is not considered as a reasonable reason. Uh, you have to write down the reason. And don't forget, even you do your self-evaluation, your superior still need to evaluate and they need to arrange we call face-to-face -face interview maybe one-to-one -one or two-to-one so what does that mean one-to-one two-to-one uh, example I'm from sales department maybe I have two direct superior one is my assistant manager another one is my sales manager so two of them will interview me I think this section is very good no matter for this uh, 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 employee and also for superior. Why? Because superior can tell the employee what is their actual expectation. And also at the same time, the superior also can really understand what is employee's thinking. Maybe the employee said that, hey, actually I do a good job. But for superior think, huh? You did a good job? No yet, no yet there is still a big room for improvement. So this section no need so long. I think just 30 minutes to one hour enough. So after this, let's say the superior cannot accept the score for this particular employee. He can request him to adjust the score because he disagree. After that, the whole process okay after they give the score give the comment we'll finally go to the top management minister maybe it's a director and this will become final score so this is the whole process so how you want to monitor the whole process actually you can apply this kpi software in ding talk definitely can solve this problem and like my case in my company we conduct this assessment every four months it means that one year we will be it will be uh, three times. So it's subject to your company and industry. So you, let's say you want to do it quarterly, monthly, up to you. Now, we discuss a bit about this uh, value assessment. It means like cannot be measured, like leadership uh, responsibility. So here I show you a very solid example responsibility. If you go to Google search, I believe you can get the table. Five means what? Fairly excellent. Four, good. Three, moderate. Two, good. One, very bad. And so on. But what doesn't mean good? Or what doesn't mean moderate? And what doesn't mean good? Nobody knows. 
But if you look at here, you use our this uh, uh, criteria, we already uh, ready everything. So you want to achieve the score five, right? Definitely you must meet this uh, minimum requirement. Okay, we look at here. You are exceptionally fast learner, adjust to change quickly and seek additional responsibility. So let's say, oh, sorry, I'm not the fast learner. I also don't want additional re responsibility. Definitely you will drop to four. But for here, I think it's also very difficult to achieve the score because here mentioned failing to accept new responsibility. So let's say you are the one always say, oh, I'm busy. I don't want to take responsibility. Sorry, you just drop to number three. Does not seek additional responsibility. So here is very clear, right? So no argument. Uh, not say you have a different department, different superior, everybody uh, do their own judgment, very difficult to do the standardization. So now based on our given this uh, uh, criteria, easy, easy for all, easy to do standardization. And do you know sometimes uh, some of our clients will asking, hey Teddy, I have one staff, actually he already over uh, score three, but he still uh, not yet achieved Four. So how? Uh, so in this case, I say that very simple. If this fella already uh, over score three, but not yet achieved score four, right? He can put three point five. Okay. Yeah, zero point five enough. So let's say this person already over score four, but not yet achieved score five, right? Just put four point five enough. Zero point five. But sorry, yeah. Uh, you don't go to put a 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, it's not so complicated, we make the simple. Okay? Very simple. So, like my company, we conduct this assessment every four months. It means that one year we conduct three times. So after that, we will average the score and we will get, uh, get this uh, grade A, B+, B, C, D and E. So for my case, grade E is 44% and below. And this type of person will be terminated uh, because very poor performance. If this fella, this person is uh, under this uh, grade D, right? Uh, he still can, uh, he still can continue to work in our company, but we will issue a show call letter for his poor performance. He has to expect clear. For the grade C, yeah, here is pass. But sorry, yeah, if. You are still in grade C every year, every time, right? Sorry to say that salary increment, that is not for you. Uh, because the salary increment only for those employees who uh, achieve a uh, grade B and above. This one is a standard, okay? It's an example. It's not necessarily you must uh, follow me. You can do adjust by yourself. But why we need to set this? Because after we do the assessment, then you will know, you will realize how many type of your employee is under grade A, grade B, grade C, D, and E. So if for uh, grade C occupy a, a, a very high percentage, I think it's time for you to conduct a training for them, motivation for them. Otherwise, your company want to move to another next uh, milestone, next step is will be very hard because majority of your employee are in grade C example. Eh? So this we also will explain five types of employee. Wild dog, remember just now I mentioned a wild dog having a great we call these uh, capabilities, okay, can achieve the KPI, but his value assessment is very, very poor. Uh, this type of people you cannot retain in your company. Uh, and also have the dog, rabbit, superstar, and cow. Of course, once you sign our package, we will conduct the training and we will let you know how you want to judge your uh, employee, their job under which category. Okay, finish. So now, we spend a little bit time, we look at uh, this uh, KPI software. So this KPI software called Smart Performance. Uh, so for this uh, rivalry, we have to, um, this is our first step. You have to set all the criteria, your KPI, a value assessment, you have to set here. Example for this uh, responsibility, uh, I set under this uh, KPI type. 
and indicate the name, the title. Ah, the assessment criteria, how to achieve number 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The target is a 5. The wave is 12.5. Okay, why the wave is 12.5? Because just like I mentioned, um, my value assessment actually got 8 category. Their total score is 100. So 100 divided by 8 is equal to 12.5. Okay, clear? So at the same time, here I set the formula calculation. So based on my formula calculation, so let's say you write down 5, the system will calculate as 12.5. If you write down 4.5, the system will calculate 11.25 and so on. So here I already set. After this, you just click save setting. Oh, so this is the first step you have to set indicator rivalry. The next step you have to set appraisal form. Oh, so you can set multiple appraisal form. Uh, maybe I open uh, my this uh, example, the title name. Uh, who is the system admin? You have to check maybe your HR or the related department manager and the access employees who? Okay, which department? You can set here. So maybe you ask me, wow, Teddy, this, uh, let's say I got a uh, hundred people, hundred employees, I have to set one by one, no need, because you already download the Dingto, right? Register. So once you already register your Dingto account, you already complete uh, the, the hierarchy setting, all the information will auto link to here. Very convenient, right? The next step is the template indicator. So here got two criteria, like for my case, I think, uh, but no, I think uh, it's definitely addition calculation. So based on there, you can see 12.5, 12.5 after the total is 100 score. So you, let's say the rivalry you never set, so here you cannot choose. So the first step, you have to set your uh, indicator rivalry. The next one is appraisal process, the workflow. Uh, so go setting, uh, executing, you have to fill your action plan. After that, self-evaluation. Uh, so what does it mean, the mutual evaluation? Okay, if you refer our this uh, short video, one minute plus, the 360 degree, remember, yes. So let's say uh, the Teddy, uh, we, you can set a few person, uh, this person, they can give their uh, mutual evaluation and Teddy won't know, won't realize who will give the comment to Teddy. Yeah, so this one is called uh, 360 degree performance evaluation and supervise, superior score approved by who or CC to who. Also, here you can set. So let's say approved by Teddy or you also can add one more uh, superior, you can set person. Okay, so these are a present process. The next one, okay, so this is the record. Okay. So once uh, we initiate this uh, assessment, okay, so let's say uh, we want to start the evaluation assessment, maybe uh, we start for this one. After that, uh, this is from 1st July until uh, 30th of July. Uh, you have to set the okay, new title name. After this, you just click initial and assessment. So related person or related party or department, they will receive the KPI. So once they receive, they have to start to fill in their action plan, they have to fill in the score. After they submit and approve, final approve, the data will auto sync to here. So this is a chart. Uh, let's say I want to view who achieved the C, I just one click. Oh, I can see Mick Chang and Mr. Go. So let's say I want to view, uh, view more details, I can click here. Very, very simple and convenient. Uh, all the data you can build here. Okay, so this is the uh, result. Okay, what does it mean this uh, multi result? Uh, after, let's say, we do uh, one year, three time, four time assessment. Yeah, you can uh, build here. Uh, so 95, this one belong to who? Okay, so let's say I want to view uh, two of the report. I just click two. And shift here. Another one is called indicator analysis. Uh, remember just now I mentioned about the responsibility. So let's say the responsibility I want to view under February to May after I click confirm. Yeah, I can see. Uh, so Teddy achieved five, uh, Mr. To uh, already achieved four and so on. So you can view here. The next one, this one is the employee performance. So normally we can see uh, they submit how many times of this uh, assessment uh, to here. Say he is a uh, record. So again, 
This KPI is very important because without the KPI, it's very hard for you to sustain your system. Okay. So not only for my company, but also for my client, they start it, they start to implement it. And now we are the only agent for this KPI system in Malaysia. So we hope this video will help you to think about the future or the planning for your company. If you are interested about this uh, KPI system, you can leave a comment or give us the contact and we will arrange another short um, preview with your team also. Last but not least, please subscribe our YouTube channel and please share our this uh, video to somebody or your friend that need it. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.